Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, I just found this uh, link, uh, and this is Titus Brown's work. I'm pretty sure I've already seen it. In fact, I know I have. Uh, he posts, I'm not sure who posts this, but there's a link here to a, an IPI YNB. Let's see if it's going to open the link in a new tab. We'll keep it a new tab. Yeah, so I it won't load. Actually, I need to take it here because I don't have the Firefox. <coughs> I don't have the Firefox plugin for NB. I don't know if there exists one, but this is uh, open the current page in NB Viewer. When you click on it, it won't work. But when you go to RAW and you click on NB Viewer, it will work. And at this point, um, I'm going to uh, load it, download Notebook, and ipyynb and save de Bruyne vise de Bruyne so now I should be able to open it uh, notebooks I'll just open this one file open uh, file open Oops. And now it should load. I hope. Nothing's happening. Okay. It did load. It's right here. And let's see. No module named Network X. networks set up networks all right so I don't know what um, what are the requirements network network X as NX I don't know what network X is, but this is one of the things that makes um, IPython notebooks interesting is that you can take a look at uh, problems <laughs> or you can search for the problems straight from the browser, which can be very useful as, uh, as we just saw. Okay, so something just happened over here. Examples. They're not, um, they don't move. And I'm not, uh, this is also a little old, but that's a documentation. Um, downloads. So I have to install this. I'm not going to do that <clears throat> to get this to work. But um, anyway, that's how you load an IPython notebook from the web. You just use, you get it from, if you're using, uh, uh, if you're getting it from GitHub, make sure you click on raw in order to get the raw IP NYB. Thank you and happy computing.